Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudobuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.6 PC Edition and this is the third in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be killing the second of the three Elder Guardians. Uh, in particular I'll be killing the Elder Guardian in a lower wing of the monument, uh, the wing that's dominated by a large platform that bisects a square-shaped pillar. Uh, many of the tactics presented in the la uh, in the previous video will be used here as well, uh, but I won't be going over the reasoning again, uh, so my suggestion is to first watch the previous video if you haven't already seen it, uh, the one in which I uh, kill the Elder Guardian in the other wing. Uh, if you're looking for another part of the strategy in action, uh, a link to the other videos in this series can be found in the description. Okay, I'm going to head back to the cobblestone ring here, uh, where I left off in the previous video. Okay, I'm, I'm back on the cobblestone ring that I built in the previous video. Um, there's my uh, sponge from the first guardian. Now I'm going to go back to this uh, forward extension here. Uh, and uh, let me grab some slabs. I'm going to uh, extend um, uh, from the forward extension. I'm now going to extend to the right uh, by 18 blocks. There's 18. Uh, and now I'm going to place two more slabs to the front. Uh, with a one block gap in between. There we go. It forms kind of a uh, backwards she C shape. Uh, I'm going to cap the end block with uh, two, uh, two slabs. Uh, and finally, I'm going to place uh, three blocks of sand into the gap. So one, two, and three. Uh, I could place two blocks rather than three. The reason why I place three is because it gives me a little bit less distance to fall into the water, um, and uh, and also just makes it easier to prevent it to uh, add some of the other stuff down there. Um, but at least two, I, I use three just for convenience. Uh, okay, so um, uh, now I need to ready some sugar canes here. Let's put those slabs away. Okay, uh, I put my back to the backstop here, I ready my sugar canes, uh, and now I'm going to fall into the water and place the sugar canes on the sand that I just dropped. Okay, so I'm spam placing the sugar canes. As soon as they get placed, uh, now I'm centered within those uh, sugar canes, uh, and I'm going to put a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, now I'm uh, now I'm on the right side of the monument, so I, in order to place the jack-o'-lantern against the monument, I have to move left. Uh, so I'm going to sidle out here, place the jack-o'-lantern, get back in my sugar canes. Try to get back in my sugar canes. Uh, okay, so there's the jack-o'-lantern. I have some light down here. I'm going to ready some cobblestone and some doors. The cobblestone is going to go on the prismarine nub down there. That's one. And now I've got a nice little space for me to back into with my door. I fall down here and uh, put a cobblestone right on the top. Now I'm protected, and open the door, place another door behind it, because uh, this one's going to go away. Uh, and now, let's see, what do I need? Um, I'm safely positioned onto the exterior of the monument. Um, at, directly beneath me now uh, is the opening between the maze of interconnected rooms uh, and the wing that contains the Elder Guardian, just as it was on the other side of the monument. Okay, let's uh, see how that looks. Let's go down here. I uh, can't really see very well. There we go. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, this is that other wing. Uh, I've uh, got a really large uh, platform here that kind of bisects this uh, square-shaped pillar. Uh, there's the other Elder Guardian down there, uh, and um, uh, and. Again, um, this uh, first part of the strategy uh, where I'm coming through the monument, it's really suitable for uh, either wing configuration, and that's because the relevant blocks are the same. As soon as I get down here and I see what kind of wing I'm dealing with, whether it's the uh, uh, 
uh, whether it's the uh, platform pillar uh, platform pillar wing or the room pillar wing, uh, then I can adjust my strategy um, uh, accordingly. But uh, in order to get placed here, in order to see what wing I'm dealing with, it's going to be the same regardless of the configuration. Okay, let me go back up, and uh, we can now try this in um, uh, we can now try this in survival mode. Okay, I'm uh, back on the exterior of the monument. Uh, now I'm going to prepare my hot bar. Uh, what I'm going to need is uh, milk. I'm going to need a pickaxe and some doors. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, wait for my mining fatigue to run out here. Uh, and then I'm going to drink the milk and immediately break the prismarine floor down beneath me. Uh, if I'm unlucky, the other remaining Elder Guardian, um, uh, whichever one did not just uh, uh, afflict me with mining fatigue, uh, will perform its check after I drink the milk, but before I break the block, uh, in which case I'd have to drink this second bucket of milk. Um, and so I'm just going to wait here now uh, to be inflicted with mining fatigue again, uh, and um, I'll uh, fast forward through the waiting, uh, and I'll see you in, in just a second. Okay, there's mining fatigue, so I'm going to uh, drink this milk right away, break the prismarine, and then add my airlock. Okay, uh, now I'm safely um, uh, positioned within the airlock, um, and uh, what I need to do now is I need to figure out where that Elder Guardian is. Uh, so first I'm going to check the room behind me. Again, it can get in here, um, and if it does, uh, it's not going to be able to get back into the wing, so I would just seal off this room uh, where the Elder Guardian is and then kill it in there. Uh, in this case, it's not back there, however. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do is uh, create a little bit of a, an area on the platform uh, right in front of me here. Uh, and from there, I'm going to um, uh, create a barrier in between the wing and the lower passageway uh, in order to create some more manageable spaces. So. Uh, I'm going to grab some doors, and I want to open the door that's against the uh, sea lantern there. Um, in this case, uh, that door is on the uh, left side because this uh, wing configuration is on the right side of the monument, but it would be mirrored if this wing configuration was on the other side. Uh, and I'm going to place two doors uh, out to the edge, and then I'm going to turn around and place doors uh, along, the edge, uh, um, uh, along the edge of the platform and placing one more door uh, next to this uh, next to this pillar over here. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now four doors down and one more door here. Okay, so I've got a pretty protected area here. Um, I'm going to actually add a little bit more protection uh, by putting in some cobblestone above. So pretty much everywhere I put a door, I'm going to want to put a block of cobblestone. Uh, that door doesn't really need it. Uh, and uh, one more cobblestone here. This uh, this pillar here uh, with the prism. Uh, sorry, with the um, uh, with the sea lantern. It does. Uh, it always generates three blocks high with the sea lantern in the middle, and there's never a block above it. Um, and it is possible for guardians to kind of sneak in there. So I'm going to go ahead and seal that up with a cobblestone as well. Uh, and now I've got uh, a nice enclosed area with just a little little gap here. Um, so uh, now I need to create a little bit of light below in order to make it a bit easier to see the Elder Guardian. Uh, let's put these doors away. Don't need the pickaxe for now. So I'm going to grab a uh, jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to want to just drop down there and place it right on the floor. And then I'll come back up here. So I'll sink down there, spam that, and come back up. Try to get back up. There we go. Okay, so um, now I've got a little bit of light down there. Uh, I can a bit more easily see where the Elder Guardian might have gone. I 
and it looks like he's right down there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to create another airlock underneath this uh, platform where I am. So I'm going to need some more doors for that. I'm also going to grab some cobblestone. And I'm going to drop down on top of the jack-o'-lantern, and I'm going to place my airlock right here uh, with some cobblestone above. Uh, now, before that uh, Elder Guardian can kind of sneak out, uh, let's get some more doors. Um, here is the um, uh, where kind of the wing joins the, uh, the lower passageway here. I'm going to step out here, and I'm going to place doors all along uh, uh, in order to... Uh, block that off to make sure that the Elder Guardian can't move between. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to drop a jack-o'-lantern here for a little bit of extra light. And I'm going to place cobblestone all the way across. Now, it's not necessary to place the cobblestone all the way across, uh, but if the above these doors right here, uh, there is an area without the cobblestone where the Elder Guardian could actually go above the doors into the lower passageway. And I want to prevent it from going in between the two, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for me to kill. Uh, so uh, I placed that, uh, just placed cobblestone all the way above, uh, and that guarantees that he can't move uh, between, uh, between areas. All right, so I've already established that the uh, Elder Guardian is uh, over here. Uh, I'm going to place a jack-o'-lantern uh, underneath the platform above me here uh, just to provide a little bit of extra light. And there he is right over there. Uh, now, if he had been down the lower passageway here, he's probably not going to go very far. Uh, and that, again, is because of the, uh, uh, the homing behavior that the Elder Guardians have. Uh, if I saw him down there, I would just... Uh, I would just uh, create a little passageway down the side here um, uh, in order to uh, kind of follow him down, maybe place some jack-o'-lanterns uh, for some light, uh, and then I'd uh, cut across and cordon him off uh, in order to make it easier uh, to kill him. But uh, in, this, in this case, he's over here, uh, and so I'm going to get my, uh, get my TNT ready. Okay, where'd he go? He's still over there. Okay. Uh, again, uh, two to four TNT is what it usually takes. Um, at least two. Uh, on occasion, I've um, uh, required a bit more. Uh, so I'm not quite sure. I don't see him anymore. Uh, of course, they, they swim away when uh, when they're injured. So. Could be that he went back up top. Oh, there he is, right there. That's convenient. Okay, he's probably a little too close for me to uh, uh, to get uh, some TNT in there. Okay, there's two shots on him, and it looked like he died. Uh, so now I need to go out and retrieve the sponge wherever that went. Uh, Not too much of a big deal to uh, to go out there, you know, take a hit or two um, from the uh, regular guardians. Uh, I don't want to take any hits at all, though, so I'm going to create a another little airlock here. Put my TNT away. Um, this will be directly underneath the um, uh, the front side of the platform uh, above me here. So let me just drop these here. Okay, and put up some cobblestone for a little bit of extra security. And I actually got the sponge while I was putting in the airlock, so uh, that's fine. All right, and now I'm just going to head back up to my original airlock up here. And I am ready to, uh, to return to the top. Uh, okay, uh, so I need to grab my ladders. Let's put this stuff away. And I'm going to need to put a ladder uh, right underneath that uh, sand pillar, um, right there. Uh, and uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, I'm just a uh, swim, jump, climb onto the top of this ladder. Uh, and uh, there we are. So uh, now it's just a, a matter of uh, using a sand pillar to get up to the top. 
Uh, so I'm going to prepare some sand. Uh, first, just one block to start a pillar. And this one is um, uh, this one is a little bit trickier to place than the one on the other side. Uh, and I need to right on that corner right there, uh, just uh, to the to the right of the door. Uh, and the reason why I put it right there is um, uh, because this is actually going to be uh, some of the uh, consistent with the uh, uh, cover that I put in after I kill the elder guardians. Um, Okay, so I've got my sand there, and I'm going to prepare 13 more blocks of sand. I can do 13. There we go. And get my sugar canes ready. And I'm going to step out the door onto my little one block sand pillar, place two sugar canes. And uh, now, again, because it gets really dark as I go up, uh, I'm going to be uh, pillaring only three blocks at a time and replacing the sugar canes uh, because it does get a bit hard for me to see when uh, uh, when guardians are attacking me. So break the sugar canes, pillar one, two, three blocks, and replace the sugar canes. Got one, two, three blocks, replace the sugar canes. Got one, two, three blocks, replace the sugar canes. And go up one, two, three blocks and replace the sugar canes. Uh, okay, um, now at this point I need to um, uh, get one more block here. Step off the pillar in order to do that. Oops, fall off the pillar. Okay, I'm safe here. Uh, and now I need to check whether or not I have enough milk left. Uh, at this point uh, I need at least one milk in my inventory. Uh, otherwise, I would need to go back uh, to the cow to get some more milk in order to continue. Uh, that's because I'll need this milk for the last Elder Guardian. Uh, so I just sail back to the cow, uh, refill at least one bucket with milk, um, preferably uh, two or even three, uh, and I'd return to the project materials to grab another boat because I, I'd probably abandon another boat in order to get back onto the sand pillar. Okay, now I need to prepare my hot bar with five more blocks of sand uh, and the sugar canes uh, and a bucket of water. Okay, there's my bucket of water. Uh, and I'm going to uh, just pillar up all five blocks of sand in my hot bar. And again, if any guardian had targeted me while I was uh, while I was pillaring, I just place uh, water on top, spam sugar canes, and that would break off the attack. Okay, uh, grab my slabs here, cap my sand pillar, and I join it to the uh, to the extension that I made earlier. Okay. And I'm heading back now to the ring. That's uh, two elder guardians down, one to go. Uh, drop my uh, sponge into the furnace here. Uh, and I'll start taking care of that uh, as soon as I'm ready to kill the uh, last of the three Elder Guardians. Uh, and that is it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I will be killing the last Elder Guardian, uh, the one at the top in the penthouse. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.